Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For anyone new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And for any of my returning subscribers, welcome back. For today's video, we're just gonna do a crochet vlog. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I made this past week for my shop orders. And I'll also sprinkle in some extra content. So with that, let's get into today's video. Guys, I came on because I wanted to show you, I recently made this jumbo turtle and this was a special color combination for somebody and look how beautiful this color combination is i did my hot pink bubblegum shell color and then this like mint green body and i just think it's an adorable combination look at it hug check <laughs> so yeah i just had to show you guys this turtle i also finished wednesday and i love how she turned out look here she is! Oh my gosh, I love the little details of the braids. Like I literally had to put like so many strands of black um, yarn together and then physically braid it. And it just turned out so cute. And like I love her little stockings and her little dress. It's so, so cute. Like this is me. I need to be her for Halloween. I am convinced I need to go buy like the little um, striped stockings and get myself like a little black dress and like white collar. I'm so excited. And since I showed you everything else that I recently made, I had to show you these two strawberry turtles that I finished. How cute. They are going off to their forever home. I just love these strawberry turtles like even to this day like I know this is like one of my like OG plushies that I've been selling in my shop for like over a year but every time I make them I just love them still guys I thought I was done showing you everything but I totally forgot I made this adorable custom mini turtle for somebody and look at the colors that the customer requested this beautiful like light sage green for the body and then this beautiful lavender colored shell and it's just a little baby oh my gosh I absolutely adore making mini turtles because they're just so small they're just so tiny and so cute and yeah love 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 this color combination just wanted to take a quick break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Timu. Timu is an online marketplace where they offer a variety of items ranging from crochet items to home items to decor. They always have amazing sales going on. You can get items up to 90% off. They have super fast and free shipping. And yeah, they offer a lot of high quality, affordable goods. I know in a past video I shared some items that I received from Timu with you guys but I just want to talk about them again just because it's been a few months now and I still really love these items and I use a lot of them, specifically the crochet supplies. So the two items that I use from Timu the most have to be the keychains and the key links. So these are the keychain links that I use when making keychain plushies. And I love these little metal links because they are so easy to attach to your plushie. And like, yeah, they have a variety of different colors. They're like the perfect length, honestly. And yeah, I just have really been loving these when creating my keychains. And then for the keychain clasp, I've been using this lobster clasp and I put them in a Ziploc because I literally had so many of them. But look at all these fun different colors. And the keychain clasp itself is like super high quality. It is super cool because you can like pivot this around 360. And yeah, I think it's really, really nice for your keychain plushies. And you can usually match up the, like the key link part with your clasp. So that way it looks really cute together. Next, I wanted to show you guys these heart tags that I received from Timu. I think I'm going to be participating in a holiday market in November. So I'm already thinking about all the market supplies that I'll have to get. So when I saw these like little heart tags, I was like, yes, I need them. So yeah, look how cute they are. I love them. And they already come with like this little hole. So that's perfect for attaching it to your plushies. But usually I just use like regular rectangular tags. So I thought the heart tags would be really cute and like help me stand out. Next, I wanted to show you guys, I got an eye organizer and I am so happy with this eye organizer because 
I always have my safety eyes like thrown everywhere. They are not organized at all. It's always so hard for me to like match up like the plastic washer with the safety eye and find the correct size that I need. So by utilizing the little plastic organizer, it really, really makes it easy for myself. And then I think I showed you guys this in a previous video. This is where I kept all of my chickens and we had a little chicken party in here. But now I just use these two bins for extra yarn storage. But literally look at these bins they literally open from the front i think that is so cool because you have really easy access to your items whatever you're putting in these bins and like it just makes it easy to get it in my opinion and then like these are stackable so these are two separate um shelves and yeah it makes it really easy and cute for storage Someone ordered this Valentine's Day bee from my shop and I forgot that I honestly had these available. I think it's so adorable that someone ordered it though because it really is cute. It's just like this pink and red bee and even though it's not Valentine's Day, it is just a love bee. So yeah, this is something I made this past weekend. I also made like a ton of mallards this weekend. I think I made five, but I already packed up some. So I have these guys left over. But look at the little mallards, they're just so cute. No wonder why these sell really well. They're just so freaking adorable. But yeah, these are going home. Speaking of mallards, do you guys remember my past video that I did a yarn haul and I got a bunch of fluffy yarn and I wanted to make a fluffy mallard? Well, I made one last night and it is not cute. Like, I didn't even finish it because I was like, it is not cute. It was not what I envisioned. I think I need to get like different fluffy yarn because the fluffy mallards that I've seen on Instagram, they're really cute. So I don't know why this one's not looking cute, but I'll show you guys anyway. So here's the fluffy mallard. I don't know, maybe I was being too harsh last night because like right now on screen, it does look kind of cute, not gonna lie. But I don't know, I don't know. I think it's just not what I envisioned. I think I need to get different fluffy yarn. But yeah, you see the bottom's open because I was just like, eh, I'm not gonna like officially finish it because I'm not happy with it. But maybe I was being too hard on myself. So maybe I'll just like leave this guy sit this week I'll put him on my desk and maybe I'll come around to liking him and then I'll go ahead and finish him but yeah I don't know I'm gonna be on the hunt for different fuzzy yarn and then of course I've also made a bunch of chickens this past weekend because the chickens have been popping off in my shop people love these chickens so here they are oh my gosh they look so cute all together like this look at them <laughs> so cute I'm also in the process of making I think four possums because one person ordered three and another person just ordered one. So here's the first opossum that I actually finished. Super cute. And then here's another one. I just need to put his eyes in. So yeah, I gotta make two more of these guys. I love how they look stacked. They're so cute. I need to make these into a keychain because I think they would look adorable just like hanging from their tails like in keychain form. Okay, and then lastly, I started making this big plushie last night, but I didn't finish it. It's a giant bee! Look how big she is! Look at that! <laughs> I absolutely love the face on this bee. It's just like so derpy, so cute. Got the big eyes, the big blush, got three stripes. My normal size bee, as you could see with like the Valentine's Day bee, it only has two stripes, but my jumbo ones have three. Let me grab the Valentine's Day one to show you the size comparison. Like, look at that! Look how big this bee is! So cute! But the only thing left is the wings. And by the way, a lot of the patterns that I've been showing are my own patterns. So if you guys want to make your own plushies, I'll link everything down below in the description box for you to find. But yeah, I love this bee. Hug check. So cute. Morning, friends. I came on because I finished the possums and I wanted to show you. Look at the little babies. They look so cute in a row like this. Let me hold them by their tails. <laughs> Stop, this is too cute. <laughs> Look at them. So they're going home. And then also, I finished the bee. Look at her. She's so adorable. I gave her the big old wings and now she is ready to go home too. She is literally so large. Like, hug check. <laughs> 
I also wanted to talk today about a special pricing tool that I recently became aware of. Crochet with Bay is one of my mutual followers and friends on Instagram and she recently shared her pricing spreadsheet with me and oh my gosh guys, it is like life changing. I know I get like so many questions on my videos and my Instagram saying like, how do I price my products? How do I make profit? How do I take into all the supply costs? With her spreadsheet, you literally don't even have to put that much thought into it. Like all you have to do is input like the yarn that you use, the patterns, and a few other factors and then it'll automatically compute everything for you. You can determine how much to pay yourself, how much inventory you have, calculate your expenses, your profit, and you can even see analytical data based on your previous markets, like what items are trending, which items were bestseller, worst seller, and like most importantly, which items make you the most money. So highly recommend you guys check out her tool. It is so amazing that someone actually created this tool in the crochet community because I feel like it is something that we all need, especially with running a small business you have to like put on different hats so not only do you have to put on your crochet and crafter hat you also have to put on your like business and finance hat and sometimes that like is confusing and it's not always a strong suit definitely not a strong suit of mine so it's always nice when you have a tool that helps you with all of that I'll include the link down below to go check out the tool if you guys are interested. Also, I cannot believe that it's literally like the end of September and we're about to be in October. That just reminded me when I went to go visit my sister back in July to help her move into her new apartment, I actually took some time off from crocheting plushies and I made two crochet sweaters. I will link the tutorial down below because I literally just used a free sweater tutorial here on YouTube and it's by Erin B. She she is also a crochet youtuber highly recommend checking out her channel she has a lot of free clothing crochet tutorials and her channel is awesome but yeah i literally just remembered that i never showed you guys the sweaters and i also remember that i filmed some footage of me like making the sweaters so like let's travel back in time i'll show you guys that footage and then i'll come back on and show you the sweaters Hey guys, so I'm in my sister's room. I didn't bring my camera with me on this trip, but can we just take a moment and look at this beautiful sweater that I crocheted? I used Erin B's free pattern. I'll link it down below. And this is my first raglan sweater. And a raglan sweater, from my understanding, is one that you can just crochet in like the entirety. Like you don't have to sew on the arms or do like paneling for the front and back. This is all just like like one continuous piece and I am obsessed look at the coloring and this was used from the Karen blossom cake and yeah I am obsessed I did run out of yarn and it is a little cropped I probably will leave it like this for now but if I do order more yarn maybe I'd fill it out a little more in the length but she is so pretty I just I just cannot get over the colorway of it like oh my gosh i think it's perfect timing now that it's about to be fall we're going into sweater weather we're going into comfy clothing and i definitely want to make some more sweaters because i have had this like fuzzy yarn literally it's right up here i'll like go show you guys i've had this for so long and i've like been meaning to make a sweater for months but i just have never found the time so i recently did just close down my shop because i'm trying to catch up on orders and then also i know october is going to be busy for me personally and for work so i won't have time to make as many plushies as I want so now that I'm taking a little bit of a break from my shop I think it is a perfect opportunity for me to make my sweater so this is the yarn that I got for the sweater that I want to make it is like this fuzzy yarn and surprisingly it doesn't feel itchy because I know that's like usually a problem and the brand is Karen it is one of the Karen cakes specifically the latte cakes and yeah I just like love this coloring so hopefully I can make a sweater but let me go show you guys now the sweaters that I made when visiting my sister. Okay, so here is the first sweater that I made. It is also made out of the Karen cakes. Um, I will link the specific name of the skein down below because I honestly forget and I ripped the label off so I don't have it anymore. But yeah, it is this like gorgeous like ombre purple pink 
combination and I just love how it looks and I think it is like such a pretty color I don't know if it's necessarily like fall colors I feel like it's more spring but I think it would be a fun pop of color with like some black leggings and everything but yeah like look how gorgeous it is and then don't mind me wearing my pajama pants but I made it kind of cropped mainly because I ran out of yarn and honestly I didn't even finish the sweater completely I still have to like fasten off and like sew in the ends but like look at that I just love it. It's so cute. Okay, and then this is the second sweater. So this is a slightly different um, material. This yarn is more of a cotton blend, whereas the purple one was more wool-like. I think in terms of like feel, I definitely like the cotton blend better. And I know this color scheme is also not really for fall. It kind of reminds me of like a beach cover-up, but I love how it feels on. It is like super airy, which is nice because I personally always like over heat when I wear sweaters and yeah I just like threw on a little tank top underneath and again I'm wearing my pajama pants but yeah it's super cute I think I'll just like pair with some leggings and I'm really proud of myself for finishing both sweaters when I was visiting my sister it really didn't take that long and it's really simple honestly it's just a bunch of half double crochets but yeah I made this one a little longer just because I did have more yarn to work with so yeah I just wanted to come on and show you guys officially the sweaters that I made. I will definitely keep you guys updated if I end up making that fuzzy um, blue sweater. I feel like that color scheme is definitely more winter-ish, so hopefully I do make it. Good morning, friends. I came on to show you two turtles that I made, and they are both jumbo turtles, and I just had to share them with you. The first one is this adorable light blue jumbo sunflower turtle. I love how the light blue body goes with the sunflower shell because it really just like makes it pop. And yeah, I am in love with this jumbo one, so hug check. And then we have this baby. This is just a regular jumbo turtle and it is a very special color combination. They requested this like emerald green shell paired with the light blue. And I think it's just an adorable color combination. Usually I make more like pink, green, beige, lavenders, but I've never really made like this kind of color combination. So I thought it was really adorable and just had to show you guys. And I'm also currently working on a jumbo strawberry turtle. So I am getting all of the fins done and then I just need to make the shell and the strawberry stem. I'm also gonna be switching gears and make some flowers today. I'm gonna make some tulips, some sunflowers, and then I think some lavender. I am making it for one of my patrons because they signed up for the plushie club. So they get a special mystery handmade plushie gift every month and this month they actually requested a floral bouquet so that made it really easy so i can make exactly what they want they mentioned they like pastels so i decided for the tulips i am doing like nice pastel colors we have a light blue a lavender and i already put the stems on these ones but i'm doing another lavender and then like a light pink so all together, I feel like the tulips will be really pretty together, a nice like pastel bouquet. And then I'm gonna throw in like three sunflowers. So I already started making two. I just need to add the petals now and put them all together. I've never made a floral bouquet before for a customer, so this will be my first time. I wanna like wrap it up and make it really cute. Also, since I think we have some time in this video because I know usually my videos are a little chunky and around like 30 minutes, and I think this one's only around like 15, 16 minutes so far. I'm gonna treat you guys and let's do a little q and I literally think I posted this Q&A months ago and I haven't been able to answer any of the questions yet because I've been meaning to make a finance video for you all. It's been on my list for so long, but then just different video ideas have popped up since then and I wanted to like get them filmed and posted. So the finance video has been taking kind of a back seat, but I am gonna do it hopefully in October, but okay, I found all the questions. Guys, wait, like, look at this. I screen recorded because I wanted to make sure I got them all. Like, oh my gosh, look at all of these. It's crazy, you guys rock. I can't believe all these questions you guys asked me. Okay, let's like randomly go to one and then hopefully in the finance video and my other Q&A videos, I can answer the majority of them. But okay, so for right now, I'm just like scrolling to a random one. Okay, so Lakaya Monet asked, what was the process like opening an Etsy shop? So speaking of other videos I have planned for you guys, I am literally planning a video where I detail out 
step-by-step -step, how I opened my shop, how you can open your own shop, and kind of like how to get your Etsy shop up and running from like a completely like blank slate. So I hope you guys will find that valuable. I get so many questions asking how to set up an Etsy shop because all of you guys want to sell your crochet items too. And I like absolutely love that. I like cannot recommend it enough. It has been so much fun running my own Etsy shop. So I am planning that video for you guys. So stay tuned. Etsy is super user friendly though. I am like a huge fan of Etsy. I know there's a lot of controversy with Etsy because of all the fees, but like honestly, I think it's worth it. And I will dive deep into this in the future video, but yeah, I think Etsy is a great place to start selling your crochet if you are brand new to it. Haley Bowman asked, how much do I make at markets? So I currently live in a small town in the south, specifically Mississippi. So the two markets I went to haven't been like insanely crazy and high traffic. I did make a pretty good amount though. I think I'd made like around $300 to $400 at a four hour market. But sometimes I watch the other crochet YouTubers and they make like over $2,000 at their market. I'm just like, wow that's crazy like that's amazing for them but i think it's important to realize that like market success looks different for everybody and don't get too hung up on comparing yourself to others because it really does matter like where you're located what kind of market it is how long of a market it is like for example is it a two-day market is it only a four-hour market etc and like all of that goes into play and then of course like the people attending the market your audience sometimes you have really good audience turnout the audience is really really interested in crochet items and like they buy a bunch from you other times the audience just isn't interested in your products so it's really just like a shot in the dark and you always want to cross your fingers and hope for the best but I'd say overall my market experience has been great like I love doing my markets and yeah I made a few hundred bucks from them Yara underscore handmade asked hi Jenna I love your videos oh thank you and she said how did you gain followers on Instagram and grow. So my number one tips for growing on Instagram and where I found success was posting every day, posting reels because reels reach far more people than regular picture posts. Post on your story a lot. Make your followers feel like really welcomed, really involved in your crochet life. Like that's how I like to use stories. I always update you guys with like my current work in progresses, kind of like what I'm doing that day. And it's like a really fun way for me to connect with my followers. Four is apply to pattern tester calls, host tester calls, and really just start getting your work out there and talking to other crocheters in the community and then five just make sure your posts have like really good natural lighting and are like aesthetically pleasing I noticed that like certain posts of mine that were taken outside with like a grassy background do way better than if I took it inside with like a plain white wall behind it and yeah as you keep posting on Instagram you start seeing trends you start seeing what your followers like what kind of posts they interact with the most and then you can really use that data and like really tailor your posts and reels to to what exactly your followers will enjoy. Okay, and I think we have time for one more. Zodi Kinga asked, how much do I crochet in one day? I honestly cannot tell you. I probably crochet at least like three plushies a day. Some days if it's like the weekend and I am dedicating the full day to crocheting, I could probably get out like seven plushies. I think that's how many I made this past weekend. I made seven plushies total. So it really just depends. Like I have definitely gotten quicker at crocheting since I do it so often. And that's another question I get from you guys is how did I learn to crochet so fast? Really it's just practice. Like the more comfortable you get with a pattern, the quicker you can do it. The more comfortable you are with like holding the yarn, finding the right tension that works for you, and really just like getting in the groove. You will improve how quick you can crochet over time so yeah definitely just keep at it but at the end of the day the most important thing to remember is not like how efficient you are how many pushes you make it's just like enjoying the art of crochet because that's like what the most important thing is just doing something you love having your passion hobby and really just enjoying it but okay I think that's all the questions I can get to today but definitely stay tuned for the future videos that I mentioned if you're not a subscriber smash that subscribe button and stay tuned because we have some awesome videos coming out in the future.
I just wanted to pop on real quick and say thank you again so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Please don't forget to click the link in my description and download the Timu app. But all right, I think we're gonna call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration to the plushies that I showed you today. And of course, everything is linked in the description box for all of the patterns slash items that I talked about in today's video. But okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!